President Trump touched on a lot of subjects during his United Nations speech, but he did not have a single mention, not a word, about climate change. Bjorn Lomberg is with us, is a very well-known environmental activist and a frequent guest on this program. Bjorn, welcome back to the show. Good to be here. How do you explain this? Not a single mention of climate well, change. Uh, of course, Trump's gig is also to say this is not a big issue. But of course, the point is, if you actually ask people across the world, what do you really care about? The UN did this. And they tell you it's about health, it's about education, it's yeah. jobs, not yeah. corruption, food, those kinds of things. Of 16 things that about 10 million people could, uh, to, could vote, they put climate change at the very bottom. Not because it's not real, but simply because it's one of the least effective ways to try to help people. You got it. I want to ask you about your point of view, which is Hurricane Florence, which ravaged the Carolinas in America recently. <laughs> You say that that was not caused by climate change, global warming. Make your case. Well, so again, global warming is real, but we're often being told it'll have all these devastating impacts. Yeah. But actually, the UN Climate Panel, the uh, premier resource for climate information, tells us we can't see this evidence yet. We can't see over the last 118 years that there's been an increase. Actually, if you look at U.S. landfalling hurricanes, which is the best data source we have, there's been a declining frequency of landfalling hurricanes in the U.S. since 1900, also of strong hurricanes. Now, in the long run, we probably believe that global warming will lead to slightly fewer but stronger hurricanes. So there is an issue. Well, the, the, wait a minute. The Washington Post... Uh, a newspaper in the United States, a leading newspaper, they came out strongly. In, it wasn't exactly, it was an op-ed, I think they said. Look, this, court, this storm, Florence, was made into a monster storm by climate change. In other words, climate change added to the already nastiness of the storm. Is that an argument worth pursuing? Well, the problem is, if you actually look at the number of strong hurricanes, they've been declining, not increasing. Again, the point here is you need to be honest and say, in the long run, global warming will probably slightly increase the damage. Well, but the way that we try to tackle it is an incredibly ineffective way of trying true. to help people. But in, is in your the basic premise wrong? Is, is your, if your basic premise is that there is indeed climate change, it is happening, and it's human-caused, well, where's the results of this? No. I mean, if you're saying we're not getting more hurricanes, then is your basic promise wrong? Well, this is, as many other things when you're talking about the future, run in models. So what we can no. see is, in the long run, there probably will be fewer but stronger hurricanes. So there is an issue here. But the, the, the real quibble I have is, firstly, that people will say anything latch on to things that are happening right now when we have the data that very clearly shows you can't say this right now. The second thing is they're saying, oh, let's all switch to solar and wind. The problem is that's an incredibly effect, uh, expensive way of doing very little good. If you want to deal with climate change, invest a lot more in research and development into green energy. Make sure that green energy becomes so cheap everyone will want to switch over. Then China, India, and the U.S will switch, not because we have lots of carbon taxes, but because we have much better technology. You first appeared on this show several years ago when the European environmentalists had really taken umbrage at you. Yeah. Are they still mad at you? Well, I think a lot yes. of people are annoyed because I keep telling this is not the most effective way to deal with the yeah. problems of the world. Okay. Bjorn, thanks for joining us. I hope you can Good come back soon, okay? Will Good do. luck to you, thank you.